are here at the Kaleti station in Budapest. Tonight we're taking a overnight train to Krakow, Poland. Check them out. All right. Your tickets have been printed. We wish you a pleasant journey. And now we just have to wait to see which track our train will be arriving at. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, some train guy. Okay, you wanna watch? Over. I'll go and ask. See, this is so impractical that we're carrying so much luggage. Oh, yes. 22, 26. Okay. 22, 26. Yes, okay. Got it. Thank you. got in our sleeper cabin. As soon as we walked through the door, Mr. and I actually got into a fight. I think we we're just both quite stressed out and short on patience. I know for me how stressful it was to find our sleeper cabin. It was not easy. That really got me more and more irritable until finally I had it. And by that time, we were yeah, inside our sleeper cabin. We really have so many bags. Definitely overpacked. It's my purse. So that makes traveling a lot more difficult. In terms of arguing, like yesterday, we were getting ready for the trip and it was stressful and then we had to run to catch our flight because of the delay and our bags were gone and now we're lugging around heavy stuff and so I think we've both been irritable and on edge and we're exhausted and sleep deprived and so hopefully the rest of our trip will be really smooth. Kim is really good at just letting go and uh, being Oh, so immediately happy after a fight, but I, I don't know, it really, really affects me and um, I feel bad for a long time. Like I need to go into my own man cave and be in isolation and yeah, so right now I'm not in the best mood. Just wanted to give some context as uh, we show you guys just our accommodation. Uh, if you know, I don't sound so like, oh, exciting, oh, this is so amazing, and all that kind of stuff. All right, so this is the door that leads to our sleeper cabin. Down here, this is uh, Kim's bunk bed. Kim loves bunk beds, right? She always chooses the bottom bunk. There's a blanket here. Nice. Pizza girl. It's like better quality than other um, better than the sleeper. Girl. Yeah, other sleeper carts that we went on. This is the upper bunk bed. This one I'm sleeping on. <laughs> yeah. Up top there's a storage area. So we got our bags hanging out up there and this I thought there was supposed to be like a, a, a little sink there at least that's what I thought was advertised no we got a we don't even got a do we have a garbage can? I don't know what, what's this? whoa what no. the wait Whoa! what's in here? can we just take these or is it one of those where uh they're like, all right, here's the bill. What the? 
and water and uh, that's great. It's I, great. I didn't know. And then yeah, we've got a little closet here. Oh, something opens here. What? Oh, there <laughs> so there a is a sink. Okay. For a second there, I thought we got ripped off. Tomorrow morning at like 7 a.m., that's when we get to work out. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired too. I really thought that I wouldn't have to sleep on bunk beds anymore. When I was working overseas before, a lot of the model houses would have bunk beds and you know, you have to, whoever gets there first gets to pick if they have the top bunk or the bottom bunk. and. Oh gosh, it just reminds me of sharing a room with just so many people and they're not the comfiest kind of beds, but at least it's just for a few hours. Hey, this is luxury. This is uh, the second class uh, bunk beds. I think the first class they've got a shower inside, private shower. Uh, but yeah, I just wash my hair in the sink. Yeah, second class way of doing it. I didn't wash my mine at all. Alright, so good night guys, and uh, we'll vlog some more in the morning. Cold? Good morning, Poland. We just got here. We just left the train station. It looks really beautiful, except it's so cold out. A lot of our luggage we packed things for summer or even spring weather, but it feels like winter. This is the warmest thing that I brought. It's just a sweater. Yeah, I feel unprepared, although we packed way too much, which is really stressing me out and making me emotional for the only ones with a million bags and it's so heavy and there's not always elevators and I feel really really frustrated I'm not used to traveling around Europe in a in a light way or I always overpack look at all our stuff I don't know how <laughs> we're gonna do this we're gonna make it work <laughs> 